boys and girls. So today we are going to learn how to draw straight lines using ruler. Now there are three segments in this video so please follow the instructions. Okay because we are drawing straight lines using ruler over here I have a 15 centimeter ruler. You see how it ends at number 15? Some of your rulers may be at 10 cm, some of yours might be a bit longer, probably at 30 cm. Okay, this is fine. So before this activity, you will need a blank piece of paper like I have here. I folded the piece of paper so I do not need to take up so much space. Next, I will need a pencil. So I have my pencil here, a ruler, okay, make sure your ruler has got the markings, the numbers, and lastly, an eraser in case we make any mistakes. So, are you ready? Now, first, I am going to show you how to draw a straight line with a ruler. Now, I will do, you watch and listen first. I'm going to draw a line AB that is 4 centimeters. So first, I take my ruler and I place it firmly on the piece of paper. Okay, do not let the ruler move. Next, I look for the 0 centimeter on the marker in this case, this is zero and I make a mark on top. Okay, I can just draw a dot. Once I've made a mark, I write down A. I label it A. Now, because we know line AB is four centimeters, I take a look at number four because it ends here. So above the number four, I draw another mark. Okay, and I label it B. Next, I place the ruler firmly on the piece of paper without moving because if you move, your line will not be straight. And I join the two dots that I draw together. So I join it together and I lift it off and there I have it, line AB. Now, because I know line AB is 4 centimeters, therefore I label it as 4 centimeters. And there I go, I have my first line. Now, let's recap on the four steps that we did to draw the line. So, first, we place the ruler firmly on the paper. Then, we look for zero and start at zero and then we make a marking and label it followed by ending the drawing at the required mark and label them. Lastly, join the two markings by drawing a straight line and then label the length on top of the line. Now, shall we do it together? Let's check that you have all your items with you. You have your paper, ruler, your pencil, and your eraser. And your eraser. Okay, now let's draw line CD that is 6 cm long. So, again, first step. We place our ruler firmly on the piece of paper. Step 2. We start the drawing at 0 cm. So we look for 0. Can you find your 0 cm in your own ruler? Once you have done that, you make a mark. And we label it C. Are you able to do it? Next, because we know that CD is 6 centimeters long, we 
take a look at the markings and look for 6 cm and we draw another mark above the 6 cm mark and we label it D. Next, we add, we finish this drawing by joining both marks. Remember, your ruler needs to be firmly on, firmly placed on the piece of paper. We cannot move if not, your line will not be straight. So we join the two lines, and we remove our, we remove our ruler, and there you have it. We have line C D. Again, we remember that CD is 6 cm long, so we label it as 6 cm. Next, we are going to draw line EF that is 5 cm long. Do you remember the four steps? Step 1. We place the ruler firmly on the piece of paper. Step 2. We look for the 0 cm mark and make a small marking at the top on the piece of paper. Next, we know that EF is 5 cm long, so we look for number 5. And we make a small marking above the number 5. Now, once Miss Faiza has done this, Miss Faiza did not do something. What do you think I didn't do? That's right, I did not label it. So, for my 0 centimeter, Miss Faiza needs to label it E. And at the 5 cm, Ms. Faiza needs to label it as F. So once I have done this, I join the two markings together. Now, should I move my ruler? Or sh no, I shouldn't. If not, my line will not be straight. Now, once we remove it, there we have our straight line. And what is one final thing we need to do? That's right, we need to label the line. We need to label it as 5 centimeters. Did you get that right? Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so good job, everyone. So we've already tried it a few times. Now, if the video is too fast, you can always pause it and then go back to where you actually missed out. We have already tried three examples, but you can always try this in your own time. And when you look at your workbook exercises, there will be some activities for you to do that is similar to what you just did. 